policies are. Michelle Mulkin joins us uh, back again on the phone. Thanks for staying just a few minutes uh, uh, extra with us. I want to I want to kind of switch gears with you and talk a little bit about what do you know about uh, uh, Scott Walker? Well, I know what I've observed from afar, and uh, I think that he is a, a very good manager of his state. I admired his courage and backbone in fighting the big labor forces, not only uh, in his state, but the massive campaign war chest of uh, the, the entrenched union powers. And, and that, to me, I thought was a sign that this is somebody who knew who he was, knew what he stood for, and was willing to bear the slings and, and arrows of being unbending. I feel like principle. there's a giant but coming. Yeah. <laughs> but that's exactly how we feel. Yeah. So far, that's exactly how we feel. But there's something gnawing. There's something like it's not right. Something's yeah. not right. Yeah. And I, I, I think that, uh, of course, for, for, for someone like me who is a, you know, fairly doctrinaire and ideological conservative, you want to fall in love. You want to have, you want it to be Man Crush Monday every day for someone like Scott Walker, who has stood up for uh, right to work principles and, and, and limited government. I, but there, there's so much more that I need to know uh, about how he would govern a country uh, and how he would lead that country on the world scene. And in many ways, uh, even in sort of the, the nitty gritty of the operations of, of putting uh, a presidential campaign uh, operation together, it's not clear to me that he is ready for that. Uh, and I want to be fair because we want to have somebody who has managerial experience. I do. Uh, and, you know, Wisconsin is not a, a, a tiny state. Uh, and I don't want to, to discount and dismiss that experience that he has. But, you know, when you tell me that he does somebody, that he's, he has people working for him and his comms team, apparently, that don't want to respond to your phone calls, what is that? I don't get yeah, it. I don't, I, I don't get it either. And I, I don't think that's something that you necessarily hold against. It's, 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 a, it's a red flag to us. It's curious, yeah. Yeah, it's curious. That's all it is. It's curious. And we don't know enough about him. I mean, I... Out of all of the candidates, I think we've talked to really all of them, haven't we? We've already talked to almost all of them uh, over the years. So we kind of have a, a handle on all of them. We've never uh, spoken to him about being president of the United States. We've had him on the show before, have we not? Scott Walker. Maybe, maybe we have uh, before. No, I don't, I don't really remember. remember that. Yeah, it's possible. But, Michelle, there's nothing concrete that has really uh, nothing, nothing off the red flags to you that you – this is good news. Oh, uh, about Scott Walker. Oh well, yeah. you know, I'm, 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 I, I, I've seen the flip flop. Uh, yeah, you've changed his position on car wheels yeah. on yeah. some basic immigration issues, right. and yeah. you know, not only do you have to be ready to answer questions from Glenn Beck, but you certainly have to be ready to answer questions from, say, ABC News that that's yeah. not even giving you difficult questions about where you stand on um, many of these national security issues. Uh, how to deal with the 11 to 30 million people who are already here. And what I've seen is that he's become very adept at memorizing the same talking points that the Chamber of Commerce types uh, have put into yeah. the mouths of so many other candidates. I want to see yeah. if there's something yeah. different. Different. Um, is, is there a front runner that you'd care to talk about? Is there somebody oh, in I, your I, mind? I, I, I've been very brazen in, in, in my uh, advocacy and passion for uh, Ted Cruz. Yeah. out there. I talk about them every day, but I do want to single out the fact that on Capitol Hill, we have, have had many long-time independent, icon iconoclastic heroes who've been willing to take on not only the left, but also the corporate right. And Jeff Sessions is one of those people, and Chuck Grassley is one of those people. And, uh, you know, I don't necessarily think that Chuck Grassley should be president. I would love to see Jeff Sessions on the ticket. On the other hand, these people are doing the work in government that we sent them there to do. And
and they need every bit of, of, of support as we can give them as we possibly can for this, the work they do on a daily business to control the size and scope of government in our lives. Okay, one last question. When did your stupid book come out? <laughs> Just kidding. This is all your duty, Glenn. <laughs> I don't think so. I have had such a fantastic ride on this. It is coming out on May 19th. Who built that? And it's great to, to uh, 